Hey guys, this is Mad Pistol, and uh, I've been at, they've been asking for, or you guys, some of you have been asking for an update on Project Normandy, so here it is. Uh, it's a little bit more complete, still not even close to done, because I have a thing called a life, and it is absorbing a lot of my time. But anyway, here's the entrance. Let's go on in. We have sheep in here, I don't know why. Here's the grand entrance uh, for what it is right now, the grand foyer. Uh, and it just it, it's really kind of a rough idea. It's not 100% sure on this, but um, where um, this is the idea of what we want it to look like. Uh, it's going to be done. It's not going to be gray up there. It's going to it's going to be completely adorned in fabric when we're done. Uh, and again, I have no clue why there are sheep here. Uh, they've kind of made some alterations to the front. We have uh, two things down there. We have what's called an astro pub and a uh, and a, a very fancy restaurant. There are also going to be more things up through these levels right here. And then we have multiple staircases. We have three in the grand foyer by itself. One right here in this corner. Uh, it's kind of a utility staircase. goes all the way up. Uh, and then you have your grand staircase, which is going to go um, up and down to the different levels. There you go. Why is that there? Okay, that's gone. Um, and then uh, there's another staircase over here. I'm going to fly a little bit. This gets me through a little quicker. Another staircase right here. The purpose of this is to make it easier to access certain areas. We also have uh, two other staircases uh, throughout the place as well. All right, so let's see. Oh, the big thing. Uh, that would be this. The, uh, I guess, I don't know what this would be called. It's a very large area, though, as you can see. Um, and uh, go up here, there are going to be staterooms. Uh, they're going to be the only balcony staterooms in the entire uh, ship. As you can see, we already have some right there. And then below it, we're going to have our theater. There you go. This is our theater. Uh, if you remember the ship, it's much, much more grand than the, the one on the ship, because, you know, go big or go home. So here you go. It also has a balcony up here. I apologize about the seats being backwards because when we did a, a transfer of the map, it jacked everything up. It's really messed up. We will get that fixed, I promise. Again, this is just a brief overview. I have quite a bit to show. Uh, all right, so let's see. All right, back here. Uh, this is the main restaurant. Here it is. Lots of seating. We'll make it look better. Again, uh, as I said in the other video, uh, I think I said in the other video, the floors are going to be uh, two are going to be too tall, so it's going to be one for a ceiling and one for a floor, so you can have those completely independent of each other. That'll be really nice. Uh, and this is two floors, by the way, so uh, you can come in at the top floor as well. Very rough layout. May actually look better when we get done with it. Okay, so. Back to the grand foyer. Let's go up a level. Now we have a little fauna, and we, as you can see, we have kind of a little, like, waterfall right there. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's go this way. There are going to be staterooms all up and down these halls. Uh, there are going to be staterooms right here. Kind of laid it out already, but uh, we'll make it look better. And this is Pyra Girls Arboreum. As you can see, it is. Very grassy. This is all. This is again inside the ship. Um, waterfall looks very, very cool. So people can have a little slice of nature while they're here as well. All right, here's one of the staircases. Uh, this is the very back staircase of the entire thing. So let's go up a few levels. Uh, I haven't. Have I shown you some of the staterooms? No, I haven't shown any of the staterooms. We're going to have uh, several different tiers of staterooms. Um, these are going to be some of the grand class ones. These are humongous right here. These are going to be basically uh, mansions aboard this uh, aboard this vessel. Uh, these are going to be a little bit bigger, not going to be huge. And then you come all the way down here, and these to the left are the ones on the uh, on the the big open area. I really don't know what to call that. Okay, and now the map isn't loading for me. This is wonderful. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Here we go. 
All right. So we're going to go back out here, and we're going to see a big open space because the map hasn't loaded. But this is the Grand Foyer. Again, Grand Atrium, whatever you want to call it. This is crap. I don't understand this. When I take a video, it doesn't like me. Take a video, and it doesn't load very quickly. I don't think it's my computer either. Whatever. All right, let's go this way. Let's go to the back and see what's going on, but as I fear the back, I don't think the back's loaded either. Oh, me, oh, me, oh, me. It's a great day to mess up. All right, so this is one of the top floors. I still can't see Jack. It's wonderful. I hate how it's loading as we go. They really need to get this fixed. Let's do a quick run around here. La la la. La la la. Come on. Come on, load. Load. Alright, I think that's good enough. This is the back of the ship. Um, on uh, the left and the right sides, uh, we're going to have actual uh, hangers. Hangar bays. That's what these are. Um, and what's cool about it is, as you can see, oops, we have a force field, which is really just kind of a waterfall, but it is a force field. Um, now, this is what makes it really cool is because we actually have a device up here uh, that turns the force field on and off, but it goes a step further than that. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you this. We've actually rigged it. I'll fix that in a minute. We've rigged it to do something special. I'm going to turn it off. And, warning, deactivate force field only if light is not lit. It's not lit, so good. Alright, let's watch. What's going to happen? There we go. The barrier comes down when you finish it. So, come over here. There you go, you can come out. I like how the map's finally loading for me. And these are actually the, uh, the thruster areas. Uh, pretty cool. In the back, we've actually got a uh, an entrance, an entryway, for like a cargo loading bay, right here at the bottom. I'm just gonna go up into the ship. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right. So what happens if I flip the switch again? Lights on. So let's go ahead and flip the switch. Whoops. Flip it. Ah, barrier comes up, and water goes down. Kind of lag there for a second. Water goes down. Now we gotta wait for the light is not lit, so we should be good to go. And turn it back off. And it's gonna go down just like that. The other one has the same device on it. Um, it's kind of a it's a rigged redstone device uh, that's designed based on a timer. So the light basically signifies it's charged so that that way if I turn it off uh, the the bay area isn't going to be flooded by water um, so yeah and then of course in these areas you know you have a way out the one on the uh, one over here is actually a bigger bay um, by a few blocks than that one over there we did that intentionally so I'm going to go back over here this is your decontamination area, your scanning area, and there's the people that are going to watch you. And then you go through and you are in the ship. Now this is the area where we're currently working on. Uh, not a lot to see here. This is going to be kind of a topside buffet, kind of a two-story thing. Uh, you know, that's what it is right now. Now where I'm standing right here, this is going to be the master suite. This is going to be uh, a couple stories tall as well. It's going to be very, very large. And you're going to have a gorgeous view off the side of the ship into nothingness. I know, isn't it great? Um, over here, now we're above the, uh, the big open area. I, still, I need to come up with a name for that. And up here is a pool, which we haven't really built around yet, but we know there's going to be a pool right there. Now, this area, this is going to be the crew quarters. Now, why am I showing you the crew quarters at the top of the ship? And it's because the crew quarters, uh, this is the deck, or the uh, the bridge crew quarters. So they're going to have their own little area. Pretty cool. And this will be completely finished when it's done. Um, bunk beds and everything. And if you come out here, open through here, and we're back in the grand foyer. Very nice. So we got, it's completely connected throughout the ship. Go in here, and we're back in crew quarters. 
Now here's the cool part. It's from the crew quarters we can go straight up into this big black ominous area which is actually the uh, bridge. Now this doesn't really look like a door but if I step on one of these pressure pads and look what happens. Very nice. Come back through and it closes back. Now yes it looks terrible I know I wish there was something I could do about it without installing mods but it is a four wide door and without using the whole 4x4 you know, four four really tricky method for doing that uh, which would take up probably half my ship uh, I did that and it works so this is the bridge uh, this is the first level of the bridge as I say this is your ops area um, for the bridge it's going to be command stations for the entire thing we're going to adorn it mostly in black it'll look a lot better we go up here and this is the captain and uh, this is the the mate's quarter or this is the uh, this is the captain's area He'll be sitting right there when we actually finish the uh, chair. And then you're going to have uh, helmsman and navigator, uh, among other stations, are going to be right there as well. Come through here, and this is your ready room. Ready room slash um, meeting room. You can see off the back of the ship. Uh, over uh, there, you can see towards the front. Let me go show you this. There you go. You can see the very front of the ship. Hope you can see in this video. I know the resolution is reduced. All right. What else can we show before we get done? Okay, I kind of teleported you over here, and um, so now I'm going to show you the labyrinth that is the halls uh, of this uh, fine vessel. Look down there. There's a hall. Come down here a little bit further. There's a hall. Now these are all state rooms. I have no clue why that's there. I need to fix that. Um, let's see. So now this part's pretty easy to navigate. Come back over here. You're kind of lost a little bit. These are still more small state rooms. Turn left. Go this direction. We. You turn right, that's going to take you towards the big open area. Uh, let's see. And these are all staterooms all along here. We're going to have signs that are going to navigate. Now this is the back of the big open area. Now we're going to go back further. And we are now at the very back of the big open area. Oops, there we go. Very back of the ship now. And it's completely dark. You don't really see much. I'm moving too quickly throughout the server apparently. This is still back all state rooms. This is going to be the bottom stairwell. Or this is going to be the the back stairwell of the ship. So it's pretty long. Uh pretty much this entire corridor is state rooms uh except for the theater which is up here. Theater is going to be right there. There's the theater, shops and shops. That's going to be where the shops are going to be. That pretty much wraps it up. Um, I'll give you a visual tour of the outside at some point, uh, but it's not really in a state of uh, well-being right now. Uh, still got a long way to go, uh, and I'm doing most of this by myself. But I am having a little bit of help. So, yeah, big project. Sorry I haven't gotten very far in three months, but we're still working on it. So, it's Mad Pistol. I'll talk to you guys later.